Hey, this is Anthony Thrips. On TV, we can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Arai Pro Shade system available at Revzilla.com. So the Pro Shade system is Arai's answer to the drop-down sun visor. For most of you, and some of you might not know this, you cannot do a Snell-rated helmet with an internal drop-down sun visor. It does not pass the test. Arai only builds Snell helmets, so this is their answer. And what it is, it's a Max Vision SAI shield that now comes with the Pro Shade system, which is an optically correct secondary visor that has some interesting functionality to it that integrates with the helmet and allows you to flip it down to create a dark smoke field of view when the sun's in your eyes. You can see it from the side angle here. You can see it front on. I'll tell you right out of the gates, I like the cleanness of an internal drop-down sun visor. I like the cleanness of a photochromic shield. But if I'm buying a Rye and I don't have that option, this didn't whistle and it didn't create a lot of issues with head checking at speed. We we're actually pleasantly surprised. There, there are some nitpicks. I'm gonna get them to, to them in a second. But remember, you're spending just under 100 bucks and where you're gonna apply it is Vector2, SignetQ, RXQ, and the Corsair 5. Anything that will take the SAI shield. And you're also gonna notice that it is an SAI Max Vision shield, which will take that Max Vision pin lock lens which is a nice touch and still has those brow vents as well. And remember guys, we will ship for free over 39 bucks and I'd love to hear your comments, your questions, and certainly your feedback on the Pro Shade system. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV by clicking right there and leave me your comments and your questions. I'd love to debate it with you a little bit. So if we look at it, right, dark smoke and you're going to have a gasket at the top so it's actually not going to impact your shield or create an issue. It actually has that similar gasket they'd use on other helmets or in the area that be between the main shield and the helmet itself to create a little bit of space because you don't want it sitting directly against it. You're also going to notice that, and I'm actually gonna pull it off here really quickly, pull it right up, let me get my helmet out of the way. And if we look at it, what you're going to notice is that they integrated these brow vents. Now for me, this is a bit of a nitpick. And it's a nitpick because I love the way that those gill slits or those brow vents work on the traditional SAI shield from Arai. But on this helmet, they've given you a two position brow vent, but it's a different style vent because it can't flip up because there wouldn't be enough clearance. So what they've done, They've made it a slider, but I'll be honest with guys at Arai, it feels a little cheap to me. I would love to see them update that, that brow vent with a better brow vent moving forward. Now you've seen me push it in and pull it out a couple times as it goes up and down. There's actually a detent. So once it's up, the wind's gonna press on it, but it's not gonna push it down. You actually have to slightly pull it out to push it down. And that's a really smart feature because again, it's going to keep it in place. Now I will say this, if we look at it, we look at the side radius, I think it's cut a little bit high. It's like a pair of those ladies' underwear that just come too high up on the hip. If we look at it, if the north, if the sun is in the east or the west, you're gonna get a little bit in your eyes. When you're in the three-quarter or, or the tuck, or even in the upright position, you're gonna have a little bit of room for wiggle there with the sun. I would have loved to have seen them cut that radius maybe a little bit lower, come in on that angle, and again, it's gonna cut off that periphery, but again, like any product, it takes a lot of R&D to get it there, and sometimes it could be improved after the first pass. So Arai, if you're listening, that would maybe be my creature comfort that I'd like to see implemented on the next go around. Now you do have the ability to move this bad boy or remove it really quickly. I'm sure people are gonna wreck these over time or want to replace them if they scuff them up. Click that button, it pops off, it's very easy to install another one. And remember, you're still UV compliant, you're still optically correct. It's the same quality shield material that Arai would be using on the SAI shield. And the nice part here too is you can see the profile again of that pin lock lens that allows you to get that double pane construction. Because at the end of the day, this is what you're buying. You're spending just under $100, this is your SAI shield with your Pro Shade system. This is what's gonna come in the bag that you can then quickly swap with whatever's on your current helmet. Now, the next step in your journey is to click right here and read other rider reviews of what hardcore riders are saying about the Pro Shade system on Revzilla.com. Remember, you don't have to take my word for it. If you're not sure how to change your shield, we have a detailed video on that as well, because a ride can be a little tricky if you're doing it for the first time. As always, we're gonna ship it for free. And if you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Arai Pro Shade system. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.